Hey guys, Lee from Team Purple Panda here, and I have for you right here some March 1st, 2011 ban list. I cannot wait to play in the next meta. This list looks absolutely amazing. Um, not only it rewards skillful player who play conservatively and push in the right time, but it also punishes player who play recklessly and try to sack their way to a win or top deck their way to a win. Um, this list balances out the decks we have right now, uh, the No Six Samurai, Black Wings, Debris, etc, etc. And not only that, it have preventive measures where it will balance out the deck that's coming out. Um, uh, Dragoonies, um, Angels, the new Psychics, etc, etc. So that when they hit the meta, it's not going to wreck the meta like Six Sam did for us for like two weeks. So, um... Like I said, I cannot wait to play in the next meta. It looks absolutely amazing and I can't be happier. Um, so yeah, this video is going to be posted up in the Team Purple Panda channel. Um, however, it's also going to be posted up in the Inch95 channel. He wants me to uh, spread the word for him as well. Um, this is just good news for the Yuku community as a whole, so I'm very excited. So let's go right into it. The first thing that is banned is Goyo Guardian. A lot of people are like, Whoa, whoa, Girl Guardian, what the hell, right? Um, Goyo gotta go. The reason why Goyo Guardian has to go is because the new psychic deck can um, spam and recycle uh, six stars very, very rapidly. Um, Tech Genesis also have the opportunity to, um, the potential to spam Goyo Guardians and recycle Goyo Guardians and whatnot. Uh, because of that, Goyo Guardian um, got hit. So it's more like a preventive measure hit. I personally like Goyo Guardian quite immensely. I am a big fan of Goyo. But I can see why they did what they did, and you know, for like you know, the good of the general game per se. Um, I can see why they hit this thing, and I can't say much about it. Um, next thing that I hit is Cold Wave. Cold Wave is super broken, locks you down for this turn, and next turn, and everyone wants this card gone, and it's gone. You know, like you ask for it, and Konami delivers. So uh, Cold Wave is no more. We can all rejoice. Um, Mass Driver got hit because. The new psychic deck. The new psychic deck has a potential to uh, FTK much like frogs, but they can do it much faster and much easier than frogs. Uh, because of that, they have to hit mass driver as a preventive measure for the FTK. Um, so yeah, that's that. So these are the three cards that got banned. So Goyo, Cold Wave, and Mass Driver. So cards that got limited are Honest. Um, Honest got limited because of the new Angel Agent decks coming out. Um, Honest being a broken card itself where it can, you know, you know plus uh, attack points, it can also um, bounce back to your hand, etc, etc. Um, it's just a very powerful card and with the new Angels coming out, uh, they have to they have to like prevent honest from making the deck broken and i think this is like a preventive measure hit on honest as well and again when because honest got hit they also hit collute to balance out black wing as well um i'm not gonna talk too much about collute because we all been playing black wings and we know how powerful this card is um it leads to otk so it combines well with shura and whatnot so yeah collute is going to one along with honest um not saying much about it but i kind of like the idea um another thing that's going to one is a book of moon um, I actually am very happy Book of Moon is going to one because it's first of all Book of Moon is such a good utility card it goes into everything and you can stop you know synchroing you can refresh a synchro monster you can refresh any monster per se uh, it protects your monsters let your monster run over other monsters because of that Book of Moon is just such a utility card that is fits into almost every single deck um, having this going to one really freshen up the meta and really changes up the game to the point where it's gonna be fun but it's not gonna be too drastic so i think it's a very good call um putting book to one um bravo to konami for that um and here it is the next card that got hit to one is gateway of the six and this is why i'm very happy i'm so so happy to hit gateway um I was really worried that they're gonna leave Gateway at three to try to make money, but no, Konami finally did something right in a sense where Gateway is now at one. Um, the people are like, Oi, Lee, you're like a six sound player, how come you're like happy that Gateway got hit? Gateway at three, like as of right now, six Sam the deck is it's a deck that have a very high sackiness to it. I mean, if you have two gateways, you ought to win. Um, if you win a dice roll, you ought to win. Because of that, it 
the 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 the, the skill evolved the deck like the skill didn't put into the deck is very minimum um having gateway at one will actually promote much more skillful play with six samurai deck so that um if you win with six samurai deck you know that you win because of skill and not because you happen to sack two gateways um and not to mention, because gateway is at one, a lot of the six sand players who are winning because of pure sackiness will start to quote unquote blame the deck for their own shortcomings and leave only like the dedicated players who really enjoy the deck, who really know how to play the deck to play, and they can try and look for their next sacky deck to play. And that's always a good thing for me, at least. <laughs> All right. Next thing, card trooper. Um, card trooper is going to two. Um, the reason why is because Card Trooper is a really cool card and also gives some support to um, Plant Synchro, um, some support to um, Life Sworn, and also Card Trooper is a very fun card to play with. So um, going to 2, I'm not complaining, I actually like it. If I'm ever playing a Plant deck, I'll definitely run 2 because it's so damn fun. Um, Christian is going to 1, it's one of those preventive measure hits when Angel come out, it's not going to wreck the meta. Um, if you look at the Japanese meta, Angel is actually a very powerful deck, so uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, for people who played Yu-Gi-Oh uh, back in the old days, the OG days, um, they know that Overload Fusion and Mega Morph are super powerful to bring out super sexy amazing dragon, attack twice, OTK. Um, now you can run two Overload Fusion and two Mega Morph, so you can see that's just busted as hell. But it's one of those things they brought back and like a revival kind of deal and I'm actually really happy. I'm can't really see more you know, uh, chimera techs and whatnot. Not chimera tech. Okay. Right. The f I can't put I can't even remember what card it was. It's been such a long time ago. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? The super sexy white dragon of butt kicking. So that's that. Um yeah. So moving on. Solemn warning to two. Um I think it's a really good call because Solemn Warning is like super bottomless per se um and it's it's just a really powerful card and it going to two is very similar to bombless going to two and i think it's really good you know as two so a good hit there guys um it could going to two um yeah more hit to black wing but not to mention it's hit because of the upcoming uh Dragoon index also really powerful so by hitting it chris to actually um evening two of the very powerful decks again black wings and uh, dragoon so i think this is also a very good hit um, moving on, cards that got unlimited are Kira Sorcerer. Um, very cool, very cool. Um, I like this a lot because it gives rise to a lot of Twilight decks and whatnot. Zombie might be coming back. Um, not to mention, um, Kira Sorcerer is very good against Samurai decks. So, um, yeah, I, I really like the idea of this going back to three. It really balances out the game. Um, Snipe Hunter at three. I can't say much about this card, but it's a good card. Um, the the du Dolorin going to three. Um, there was ODK associate of this card, but the components of it got banned already. So this going to back to three might give um, Ice Berry the edge for them to be competitive, and that's always a good thing. Um, Ghost Shark to three. I'm not saying much about this, but Ghost Shark's a very good card. Um, I think the next mana is going to be a little bit more slower than right now, so Ghost Shark might be very useful. Um, skill Drain to 3, I don't know why this card was hit in the first place, but Skill Drain is a very, very powerful card, um, and I can see why this is going to 3. Um, I believe it's going to be a give rise to a lot of the anti-meta decks and whatnot, so it's going to be great. Um, offering, also going to 3, so that's bad, not bad. And Black Page, followed by Demise, uh, is going to 3 as well. Uh, currently, we have like you know um, the warnings and whatnot, so uh, we can definitely negate uh, um, Ritual Arts. So... Yeah, definitely um, an interesting deck to play if it ever comes back and be competitive. But that is the upcoming meta. And again, I am very excited to see everything and see how everything plays out. And I cannot wait to play. So yeah, I will definitely meet you guys in the next meta. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.